Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence the 17th, and I am a huge fan of a couple of people that just came onto my radar in the last few years. Uh, Dr. Travis Bradbury, he wrote Emotional Intelligence, uh, kind of given the, the uh, credit of creating that uh, that phrase to add to IQ and social cue, emotional cue, so emotional intelligence. And he uh, he's closely allied with someone who, if you haven't seen her uh, TED Talks on the Superman stance, her name is Amy Cuddy. It's great. You got to go find, just Google Superman stance Cuddy, C-U-D-D-Y. Watch the, the TED Talk. It's one of the best TED Talks ever. She actually did some research on what happens when people meet each other for the very first time and not only what happens during that initial meeting but actually what happens in the first 0.6 seconds that's how quick someone sizes you up that's how quick someone judges you that's how quick someone decides whether or not you're worth paying attention to and you know when you audition you have to capture their attention right away so she found that there were two things that everybody decides on, everybody judges you on within that first second. One is, can they trust you? Can they trust you? If they can't trust you, they don't want to talk to you. They, they'd immediately dismiss you, not interested, can't trust this person, don't want to be hornswoggled, goodbye. The second one is, are you capable? Like, what's your level of expertise? Is there something about what you are that tells me you can do things, that you can do what I'm expecting you to. Again, in the case of the audition, you walk into the room, you've heard the phrase, through the door casting. Like the moment you walk in, you're like, they knew that you were the one that would get the part. Or the moment they heard you on your pre-recorded, uh, you know, MP3 audition for voiceover, that was it. They knew it. That was going to be the one. They knew it. They knew it. They didn't even have to listen to your demo. It happens a lot. I've heard casting directors both on camera and on mic say that very same thing. So how do you do that? How do you do that? And how do you do it without coming off as fake, right? So let's talk about trust first. The first thing you want to do is a physical thing that you can train yourself to do. If you're being introduced, don't be the first one to talk. Let the other person be the first one to talk. Don't stand there and go, okay, talk. But No, but like be expecting, okay? Uh-huh. And then let them talk. Let them be the first to talk. Do that small talk. Don't jump right into who you are and what you do. You know, how's your day going? Uh, you know, this is a great party, isn't it? You know, or wherever you are, if you're in the audition space, um, you know, if somebody asks you how it's going, you know, be honest with them and let them know and be positive. That's the other thing. Use an open stance so that you're not like closed off and, and talking to them, you know, like as though you're frightened they're going to hurt you. Um, make the other person your only focus. So when somebody's talking to you, don't be looking over their shoulder to see if there's anybody more interesting at the party. And and don't check your phone. Oh, please, no phones. That actually ties into uh, capability. You know, the, what we were talking about there was trust. Those Those little things will actually make people more likely to trust you. Now, how do you show them that you're capable? Again, no phones. Don't be looking at your phone. Don't, I mean, don't ever do that when you first meet somebody. Don't be looking at your phone. Put it away. I know it's hard for some of you. It's hard for, especially people who've grown up in the digital generation. It's like, no, no, I need my phone. I got to have my phone. I can, I can meet somebody. I can talk to them and I can look at my phone at the same time. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. You can't actively listen, which is his second tip about capability. When you actively listen, when you really are taking that, focus that you you give them when I was talking about trust, when you actively are thinking about what they're saying and you're enwrapped, you know, until they prove they're not worth your time, which sometimes happens, but just actively listen to what they're doing. When you do that, they hear it, they see it, they can sense it. And one last thing, if you know you're going to meet somebody, for example, I'm going to go to dinner this week with a friend of mine that works uh, on a television show. And she's currently doing a podcast with her partner, and she wants me to meet her partner because her partner wants to know more about podcasting, wants to do stuff for her business. Um, I know this. So I went and I Googled her just to find out what was about her. And, and you know, knowing little tiny things, don't show off that you know, but, 
you can you can have a much better frame of reference if you have some idea of who it is that you're talking to and what it is that they do and what it is that they need. Now, how do you apply all this to auditions? So with recorded auditions, with MP3 VO auditions, it's kind of difficult because you're not looking at somebody, you're not focusing on them. But what you can do is use your slate. I've talked about this before, how important your slate is. Use that slate to let them know that you're engaged, that you're talking to them, that your slate is not a throwaway thing that you have to do, that you're friendly and that you are capable, right? And then show them that you're capable. Same thing when you're walking across the, the threshold to go into the audition space for on-camera stuff or into a business meeting or you're being introduced on stage. Do it with the audience. You know, any of those times are a great opportunity to build trust and show them that you're capable. And the way to do that is to really focus overall the messages, focus on what you're doing, not on something else, not on who's more interesting, not on the next thing that you're going to do after you meet this person, not on getting a drink, not on checking your phone. You know, if you do that, it's going to be lovely. People are going to gravitate towards you. And uh, is that something you'd like? Do you have any other tips? Anything that you do when you first meet people that you found works for you? Um, I bet that if you think about it, it applies to either trust or capability. Uh, so let me know in the comments below, no matter where you're watching this. I hope you're watching it on VOtogogo.com. You may be watching it on YouTube or on any of the other social networks. But if you go to VOtogogo.com, there's all kinds of stuff there that I can share with you that will make your life even better. And this is our one-a-day video. I've been doing a challenge all year long, a new video every day. We're nearly at 100 episodes. And on the 100th episode, I am going to be doing an AMA and Ask Me Anything. Uh, I'll be gathering questions between now and that episode. So if you want to ask me a question, uh, put it in the comments below or uh, uh, send me an email, davidlawrence at gmail.com. Uh, and I'll gather them all together, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. If it if it's too many, I'll do another episode with that. But ask me anything about uh, acting, about voiceover, about um, you know internet marketing, about promotion, about success, about productivity, um, radio and television, you know technology, anything you like, anything I can I can help you. An AMA is coming up, and it, even if you want to ask me a question about how we do these videos, how I'm doing these videos every day, I'd be thrilled if that was the case. All right, so uh, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, if my head's there, click on it. If not, find a subscribe button somewhere. And if you want to see the latest episode I've done, go ahead and click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I really appreciate you watching these videos and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>